Welcome to Launch Your Bots. My name is Hector. Today I want to introduce you the Rovalo 226 Cayman. This is a bay boat powered with a Yamaha 200. Um, I want to start with a point to you a couple details on this boat. Number one for me, the biggest, biggest uh, uh, feature in this boat is the hull design. The standard B plane on it is and make this boat amazing. This boat performs really well in all kind of water conditions. It's, it's really nice if it's choppy or it is really nice if it's a shallow water and you want to be fishing by the marge or any of those good parts on Charleston. Some, uh, some details on this boat and make believe this boat is probably a bigger one, a 24 or 25 because it's got almost um, 100 gallons on light wells. You have 30 gallons of light wells on each side. Uh, let me show you a couple of things inside the boat and, and uh, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Number one, I want to start from this part right here. Uh, if, if you want to use this boat for fishing, uh, you guys are going to love this big casting deck on a transom. I mean, you can easily walk, you know, left and right without trip over. Everything on Robalo is flush mounted. I'm talking about hinges, lockers, and uh, they don't cut corners and things like this. Check this out. Some, some, some other brands, they use that plastic latches. Robalo uses stainless steel. They, they use uh, restricted hinges. What the restricted hinges are is this. Look at that. So you can open the compartments without worry about getting your fingers smashed or your hands uh, being uh, hit by uh, the, comp the leads. This is one of the light wells on a 226. Study gallons light wells, got the O2 pump, come with the bait separator. So what, what is that? It's just in case if you uh, do two kind of fishing and you have two kind of different light bait on the same day. So you know, you one bait don't eat the other one. <laughs> Pretty much like that. Um, you have the same option on the, on on uh, port side, and then right in the back, it's a detail what I love about the Rovalo 226. They uh, build compartment where you can keep the butter best friend five gallon bucket. This bucket, it, you guys. It's got a multi-purpose on it. You can keep your casting deck. You can keep your cleaning supplies. You can keep a beach anchor. And right on the top, probably you want to keep your casting uh, net. And right under is humongous space where you can uh, easily put your fender, your duck lines, a couple of life jackets, or some of the personal items. Uh, now, again, all the compartments in the Rovalo 226 came and they come with restricted hinges. Look at this. It's pretty nice. Now, I want to point to you something what I love about the, uh, the Caymans is bay boats are built for fishing. So, if you're not able to step on a gunnel, uh, it doesn't make sense. On a 226 uh, Cayman, you easily step on a gunnel and you have to worry about slip over or trip over. They uh, molded diamond nut skid all the way around the boat. That's on a deck and that's on a gunnel. Diamond nut skid is always, always really good and friendly on the feet. Even if you want to uh, walk around the boat barefoot, it's always, always friendly on the feet. Shine water pretty well, easy to clean, and also look really, really nice. It's completely different what some other brands use and do that kind of same paper. Uh, look and uh, hurt and feed over the time, but talking about fishability on it, step on the gunnel, you easily walk from the transom to the front, on in the gunnel without trip over or worry about it. It's really wide gunnel. Right on there, you have an access to keep two, uh, three rods on each side, and uh, something what I want to uh, tell you about this. Uh, roll holder storage on the side is uh, Rovalo they dry PVC pipes inside so you don't have to worry about your rods get 
you know, cut for the fiberglass, or the they break the tips break on on inside. That's something what they they take a step forward and and try to provide with with something what you guys gonna feel safe or secure with all your fishing gear. Now, the console. This is a. I know they look like a, the console for a bigger boat. This is a 22 footer, but. The console is, 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 is amazing on this 226K man. Um, you have access to uh, all the switches on each side, starboard and port. Um, probably you already uh, listened to me talking about uh, fuses and uh, secret breakers. Uh, fuses are all technology. Fuse, uh, no, I think nobody should be using fuses on a boat anymore. Rovalo use secret breakers. So if something's going wrong with the electronics, uh, you got secret breakers on each side. So you can just easily reset the breakers from the console. Then of course you got the total switches and this side probably you, you have the light well, the light well pumps, the fresh, uh, if you want to start fresh water, pump, fresh water on this boat, you'll be able to it. Now, this is the Garmin 742SX, a touchscreen unit. It's got the navigation system, it's got this boat come with the through hole transducer, so you're going to have the fish finder and sonar also available on this. Uh, on this case, Robalo installed the Clarion Bluetooth stereo system. We ordered this 226 with the handy control knob steering wheel. This is, this is uh, something else, more when you uh, go in, uh, you want to dock this boat or you want to load it up the boat on a trailer, it's really handy. And now the good thing about this is it come with the teal steering. So if you want to drive the boat, sit down and look the space, the amount of space between, between your knees and, and the console is pretty spacey. But if you want to drive stand up, just you easy adjust the steering wheel. Now look at this come with a handrail right on the top of the console. I love this detail. Uh, it's some, I feel secure, I feel safe. And not, it's not a self-tapping, it's true bolted into the, into the console. Right on the top of the console, you have these two compartments where you can uh, throw your uh, personal devices, cell phone, wallets, so, etc. Right here, that's where you uh, recharge your phone, or you can uh, have the MP3 auxiliary port on this side. Now, I want to remind you this. This is a 22-footer bay boat. What I want to show you right now is something what blow my mind the first time when I see this uh, Cayman. I don't see this in another bay boat. And uh, let's go in the front. This part is the, one of the better parts and features on this Provalo 226 and it's the head compartment. This is a huge storage compartment. So many people, they put a, a porta potty on it. Porta potty is gonna give you the peace of mind more when you are away from the dog and you have kids or wife. So some, we install that optional porta potty if you want, if you don't, you can use this for keep your beach chair, umbrellas, all your fishing gear. This is a huge storage compartment. How huge it is, check this out. You can easily go in and look at it. It is probably around five feet deep. It's, it's got a step, so you, you easily come in and out. Now, and the 226 Cayman, um, the compartment on the bow on this, Side, you have the insulate compartment. This one is, uh, you can use it as a cooler or you can use it as your fish box. Now notice this detail. It's assisted by a stainless steel strut. So the compartment always gonna keep open and you don't have to worry about get your head or your hands caught by the compartment. One detail what I always point to my customer is this. When you own a bay boat, sometimes you wanna load it up. You fishing gear or your personal items. And many other companies, they build those compartments up in this way. So you have to go into the boat and load it up all your items, you know, going in and out, in and out multiple times. But 
on this case you can load it up the boat from from outside that's 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 a nice detail on the Robalo this is the way how this compartments open now you have the weather strip so you don't you don't have to worry about um, getting uh, rain water or, or wash water into you items right in the center you have another light well this is another 30 gallons light well so you have 90 gallons on light wells total on this 226 Cayman then you have on this side another storage compartment in this case you can keep up to five rods seven foot rod I'm, so I'm sorry it's you can keep up to eight foot rods on this 226 Cayman now check this detail when I say Robalo they don't cut corners in the way how they build is I want you point this so many others they leave those compartments with raw fiberglass or they put carpet to try to cover this is finished joko you see this it's completely finished no plywood no ply Robalo don't use plywood on boats that's that's a, that's a pretty nice detail plywood is old school now the step this step for the front uh, casting deck is really nice so you don't have you have you don't have to do this big step right here you have a mid step right here what it is gonna help you when you want to you know run faster from the transom to the uh, to the bow now the casting deck remember we were talking about how wide the gunnels should be in a bay boat look at this I mean you easily can uh, be right on the edge in uh, casting from the gunnels on uh, Rovalo 226 Cayman. Uh, the compartment right here, of course, like you guys probably know, that's the anchor compartment. And on Rovalo, they always uh, pre rig almost everything. This uh, is a, a pre rig it if one day you want to add the trolling motor. They, they, they think in everything, so that's, that's pretty cool. The pull up cleats on a Rovalo Caymans you come with the uh, logo in, on the top and uh, if you need it pull it if you don't just pull the back and this uh, big 22 bay boat the Rovalo 226 Cayman is a 2018 model again powered with the Yamaha 200 we have a big promotion on this boat uh, if you guys want more information about this boat Give us a call at 843-216-4700. Check this boat on our web at loanshoreboats.com. Or if you have any questions or want to know a little bit more about it, send me an email at hector.loanshoreboats.com. Thanks for watching.